I made videos about so many people, so many groups, black racists who say that they can't be racist, even when they say and do things that would get a white person called racist, I call them delusional. Uh, feminists who believe that because women were one time um, on their knees, and I say that because it was metaphorical and who want men on their knees metaphorically instead of equal like first and second wave feminism intended to to people who are not christians who criticize me for believing in god because they can't see them i've, I've made videos about plenty of these these people i've never acknowledged the good people and i think it's about time i think it's time you can call me swinging on nuts, you can call me kissing ass, you can say whatever you want to say. Those of you disagree, but you know what? All this kicking people is not working. It's time that we raise each other up. And here I am. I'm going to do it. Because it's fair. First of all, to white people. And to the black people who understand that racism is not part of the white DNA that privilege is not a white thing that black people can be racist too who understand that historically slaves were sold to white people by black people and that there were white slaves in the world as well at one point so black people do not own the patent on slavery to those who recognize the fact that over the last few hundred years, when slavery was ended, it was white people that wrote the legislature to do it. Oh, and that, by the way, the country, the place with the most slaves in it now is Africa. To the black people, especially the black people, who understand that cops are not targeting black people, they are targeting criminals. Sometimes they get it wrong. In fact, they've gotten it wrong more times with unarmed white people than they have with unarmed black people. I applaud you. I really do. Because it takes guts to go against this leftist, this leftist narrative that there's so much oppression. So much oppression that, you know, no matter what you do, if you're a person of color, Oh my God, you're going to get pushed down. When there are so many examples <clears throat> of black Americans succeeding, whether it be through sports or whether it be someone like Barack Obama, Oprah Winfrey, so many people who have done such great things, so many people of color who have done such great things. And when a black voice like Candace Owens speaks out, because she's not speaking out the right way, she say, it's said that she has a black face, but not a black voice. How racist is that? Hmm. It's like, you don't agree with us? You're not black enough. Go over there. Go, go. But to those black people who can accept, even if you don't believe, even if you don't, if you don't, even if you're not in agreement with what she says, you can still say, still, this is a black woman successful who has a voice. I applaud you. To the men and women out there who will look at a third wave feminist and say, lady, you crazy. You want, you want men to be metaphorically on their knees because years and decades ago, women were once metaphorically on their knees and that will make you just, and that thinking makes you just as bad as your male oppressors back 60 years ago, 70 years ago whatever those who recognize the equality between the sexes I applaud you those that realize that men are not race rapists by nature that men do not just sit there thinking about women being butt ass naked all day I applaud you to men who aren't just sitting there apologizing to women because that guy over there whistled at her. I applaud you. Seriously. 
to those Christians out there who will stand up for God no matter what is said to them who and to those of you who don't believe in God in fact but who allow Christians to believe in God and who don't criticize or make fun of but who will stand there and either not care or listen and have a real conversation about the subject I applaud you seriously why am I saying this because so many times the people who are celebrated are the ones that bring the most drama the ones that are trying to cancel this person or that person because of a mistake they made 20 years ago so many people who look at instead of the content of someone's character the fact that the person was a white male straight Christian <sighs> makes them just evil the fact the people who are saying that this group needs to die that this group needs to be more subservient that this group needs to be more apologetic that this group needs to be torn down all because of something that was done decades and decades and decades ago you're the problem the solution are the people who believe in individuality and believe in individual freedom that they believe that just because somebody says something that you don't like that that's not a microaggression they don't believe in safe spaces from microaggressions because words are hurt they believe in facing words they believe in speaking words they don't believe <clears throat> that because you're a man and you're speaking that you're mansplaining they don't believe that you can't know what you're talking about because you're not the color of the conversation that you're in those are the people that deserve the applause because they're the ones coming into things not trying to start a fight they're the ones coming into these things trying to solve things by saying let's have individual minds and let's learn about one another instead of judging before we even meet let's listen let's converse let's debate to you guys i salute you later